Hey beautiful and welcome back or welcome if you are new here. My name is Jeannie. I'm so glad you're here and I hope by the end of the video you'll decide to stick around. I would love to have you. You guys, this is going to be my BoxyCharm base box for the month of July. This is my paid for box. I've already filmed the box that I get in PR. If you miss it and you wanna check out that variation, I'll have it linked in the description box below. So this is the base box that I pay for and I am shocked, you guys. So I get a base box in PR and then I buy my own base box and then I also buy the premium box and normally my premium box comes right around the same time, either the same day or within a couple of days as my PR box so my premium box is normally here in the beginning of the month and I don't even have tracking for it and as I'm filming this it's like one in the morning on the 14th so I don't know what is going on but I'm dying to get my hands on that Lunar Beauty palette um, but anyhow we're gonna dive into my boxy charm base box that is paid for before we jump into the unboxing, I've got a couple things that I want to mention. Um, keep your eye out within the next week or two. There's going to be a video on my channel that is in collaboration with 10 other YouTube channels. Really amazing ladies in this collaboration. And basically what it is, is like a Christmas in July mystery box exchange. There was no um, monetary um like you could spend as much as you want on the box you were sending out everything was a complete surprise and then every single channel is going to have a giveaway for you guys i know personally my giveaway is going to be top notch amazing i am so excited for that and um yeah so definitely keep your eye out for that because there's going to be lots of opportunities to win a massive giveaway um not only from my channel but from nine other channels so keep your eye out for that and yeah, without further ado, let's jump in to the box. So if you're not familiar with BoxyCharm, it's a monthly subscription box. You get beauty products. They've got a three-tier box system. This here is the lowest box. It does cost $27.99. And you get five full-size products, one of which you get to customize. And every month we do get a theme. This month is, by the way, <laughs> in my... Um, my PR box, I did not know what this stands for, and I now do. So it is status out of office for the summertime, which is very, very cute. And then on the flip side, we have all of the products in our variation along with the retail value, which I love because I love seeing the value that I'm getting in the box. And then also a little bit of information about each product as well. So let's start with the product that I was shocked to see. I did not know that this could be a thing or that this was something that was being seen in variations. So I did get the um, Complex Culture Beauty Future So Bright Eyeshadow Palette. It retails for $30. Now, um, Complex Culture is said to be, well, I do believe it is Ipsy's brand. Um, but if I'm being honest, I like everything that I've tried from the brand. I actually got a palette, like the outside packaging looks identical to this and it's bronzers and highlights. I got that in a BoxyCharm some months back and I almost use it on a daily basis. Typically, I really like cream products. I love cream products because I'm a dry skinned girl so I just feel like they look better on me. You know, the wrong kind of powder can look crusty and dusty on your girl's face, and we're not having that over here. But the powder formula on the bronzer and the highlighter is so beautiful and smoothing on the skin. I really, really enjoy that palette. Um, this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. It is really, really beautiful. The shimmers in there look really, really stunning. And... um. It's got some pretty packaging and it also does come with a mirror in there. Here's the thing. I know that I have an in a complex, I was going to say an Ipsy, a complex culture eyeshadow palette at my house. For those of you that might be new here, I am in a hotel right now because my toddler started a kitchen fire while I was switching a load of laundry and we have been in a hotel for over two months now. We're gonna be going home very, very soon. Um, but because I'm not at my house, I don't know if this is the one that I have or not. So I don't wanna swatch it because if I already do have the palette, then I'm going to use this for a giveaway on the channel and let one of you guys that doesn't already have the palette 
get a chance to try it. But I think it's beautiful. And if it's not the one that I have at home, I'm really, really excited to have it. I think that's a beautiful addition into the box. And then if I do have it, great. Then one of you will get to play with it at some point. So we've got that. Next, we did get the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizer. This has a hefty price tag. This retails for $76. Kate Somerville, we all know, is like a high-end skincare brand. I do really enjoy the brand. Um, I did just get one of these in my PR box. However, I do go through skincare like you know, pretty much like my wine. And also this particular one is something that would be really good for my husband's skin. So I think I will hold on to this for a backup. Um, me and my husband are both using the one that I got in my PR box and we both really like it. So I'm cool with having another one. That's pretty cool. And next, this was the choice item. And this is from Stack the Odds from Aliyoop or Meet Aliyoop. It does retail for $38. And it's basically a three-piece compact that has a cream bronzer, a cream blush, and a cream highlight. They call it a cream highlight, but to me, it's more of like a, a skin gloss, um, at least the one that I got in my PR box because I did end up getting this choice product in my PR box as well, but I got a different shade. So the one in my PR box was Sun Kissed, which was the middle of the three shade ranges that you could have chosen from. And the one that I chose for my box is called Sassy Pants. <laughs> Sassy Pants, I like it. And this one is like the more pinky tone, whereas the other one was a little bit more corally, orangey toned when it came to the blush. The bronzer was a little bit deeper, but this is what she looks like. So it actually looks very, very similar to the Sunkist, except for the blush looks, you know, the blush is more of a pinky tone, but actually the bronzer and the highlight, if that's what you want to call it, look very similar. Here is what they look like. And I did use these and I felt like they went into the skin, blended in beautifully. And here's the thing, you guys, if I'm being honest, when the choices came up for the month of July, I was not excited about them. Um, I just wasn't. And I'm just, you know, I got to keep it real. Uh, but after using them, I'm definitely more excited to have them. I was actually able to create a beautiful look with my PR box. It's literally like a two minute or less video that I posted here on YouTube, kind of just running through what I did with the products and showing off the look. If you want to check it out and you missed it, I'll have that linked in the description box below. But Honestly, I did it the, the, that day that I made the look and then I recreated it the next day for work. It was such a beautiful look and it was so easy. It was just like glowy, goddess, skin, beautiful eye look with another product that we'll talk about in a moment. And it was just beautiful. I loved it. So now if it would have been the same shade that I got in my PR box, I would obviously use it for a giveaway but since it's a different shade i feel like i will still get use out of it next this is another product that i did get in my pr box as well this is from beauty for certain and is the whole lot of mascara this retails for 32 dollars. i still can't believe that that's a lot of money for a mascara from a brand that is not like something that we all know, love and trust kind of thing. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Do you guys know this brand? Are you super familiar with them? Because I'm not. Um, I will be honest again, this, since I did get it, my PR box, I did use it in the look and it did the trick, but it's not my favorite. The formula was kind of wet and thin, if that makes sense. And, um, like I said, I put it on, I let it dry a little bit. I did another coat, let it dry. I think I did about two or three coats. I can't remember, definitely two, possibly like 
a, a little touch up after the second and it did the trick but I just have mascaras in my collection that I have to work less to get the same result if that makes sense and that could be one of those things where if you let the formula dry a little bit after it being opened it could totally change that has happened with some of the mascaras that are now my top notch ride or die mascaras so I'm not I'm not knocking it. I'm not closing the door on it. I'm just telling you my um, kind of like first impression experience with it. But since I already do have one, I will definitely put this in a giveaway so that one of you guys that did not get it or do not have it will have an opportunity to try it. Last but not least from the Beauty Crop, we got this um, Liquid Eyeshadow Duo. This is in the shade Fudge and Cinnamon. Again, I did get this in my PR box. This does retail for $18. Now, when I saw it, I, I, I do like some liquid shadows, but it's like either they're good or they're bad. There's like no in between with liquid shadows. Either they're rocking it out or they suck, in my opinion. They've gotta be good or they're not good. <laughs> um, this was actually amazing. And if I'm being honest, I was not even expecting too much out of it because it's the beauty crop. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with this, but in my mind, to me, the beauty crop quality is somewhere along the line of nice drugstore quality, um, in my opinion. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but because of that, and because it's a liquid shadow, I just wasn't expecting too much of it, but I used it in the look that I did with my PR box. Again, if you missed it and you wanna see it, check the description box below, just in case you're curious. You guys, the matte side on this was so easy to work with. You just put it all over the lid, you can take a eyeshadow brush with just a touch of your favorite bronzer or just without anything and just very lightly go over the edge of where the product is. It blends out in two seconds and then take the metallic side and coat the um, lid with it. Oh my God, you guys, it was so easy and so beautiful. I was blown away by this. I truly, truly was. Um, I would like to get a couple different colors of these because it's so good for that one and done, easy look out the door kind of thing. And I am totally here for that, especially in the summertime. And as a mom of two toddlers and a 14 year old and I work and, you know, clearly we've got all kinds of going on, you know, um, I loved this. I really, really did. And I think that when I first saw it, I was kind of like, eh, whatever. But if you guys get this in your box and you kind of had that initial eh feeling, give it a try. Give it a whirl, you guys. It was good. It really, really was. I promise you. And since I have a full one, I will also use this for an upcoming giveaway here on the channel. That way, one of you that does not get it will get a chance to check it out. So yeah, that was my paid for BoxyCharm base box for the month of July. I think that it was really good. We got an eyeshadow palette. We got a Kate Somerville um, skincare product. I was not initially super excited about this when it was up for choice, but act after actually using the product, I think it's really, really good. And I'm glad to have a couple different shades in my collection. Um, the mascara was kind of just like so-so in my opinion, but that could change. That could change after the formula dries slightly. And then again, the Beauty Crop Duo Liquid uh, Doohickey here I thought was amazing. So I'm happy. I'm happy that when it all was said and done that I actually was happy with it. Because you know, guys, BoxyCharm is a subscription box. I love my BoxyCharms, I truly, truly do. I love the element of surprise. I love getting these presents in the mail. I love getting to try things that I wouldn't normally pick for myself in the store. And sometimes this is how you find your next holy grail products. So it's all very cool, but sometimes you just open a box and you're like, this ain't the one. This ain't the one. But then you actually try the products and you're like, okay, okay, Boxy Charm, okay. And that's kind of how this month was for me. So I am definitely excited to get my premium box, get my hands on that Nude Prism Lunar Beauty eyeshadow palette that we are all promised in our premium boxes this month. That will be my first ever Lunar Beauty eyeshadow palette. So I can't wait to dip in and play with it.
Let me know what you guys thought about the box. Let me know if you've got chores, how you're feeling about BoxyCharm this month. I want to hear it down below. And until next time, guys, stay safe, stay beautiful, and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.